Another work is, uh, he started that in the 60s. And another work of On is, uh, was, uh, was son is called Off, uh, is uh, that he uh, sends postcards to his friends say, with always the same words, I'm still alive, signed On. So you, you begin to think about, uh, to see about uh, what is the, the order of, uh, of his uh, thinking. So I, I met On Kawaha, and we decided to do something together. But um, Anne uh, doesn't speak French, and uh, I speak uh, English uh, indifferently. And he speaks a kind of a Japanese English, which is very interesting, not always easy to understand. And uh, well, we decided I, I would work during the summer and then present my poems to him. And I asked him, what? do you want me to speak about in those poems? And he told me, time. I wasn't surprised. <laughs> so um, I wrote the, those poems. When I, came, when I came back in September and met on again, um, he took my poems, he looked at them, he said, I don't understand French, so I'm just like a, a blind man in front of those poems. So he, he told uh, on, uh, Yvonne Lambert, uh, you send that to, uh, to people that can do the, such kind of things and you have it translated into braille, uh, the, the writing for blind, blind persons. So okay. it was translated into braille and then uh, on took them, had them translated into Japanese braille, and from Japanese braille to Japanese, so he could understand what I was saying. And then uh, he made a few, uh, uh, it was uh, uh, printed on a very be beautiful paper in braille, you see. You see? And he, make, uh, he made a few interventions that uh, artists do on, on things. I, I don't know anything about that. And it, that was a very beautiful book, very expensive. One, one, one of my poems for On was, uh, in the title uh, is The Time, The Time. I read it in English only. It was the time, it was the time, it was the time, it was the time, was the time, the time, and it was 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 the time, was the time, the time. Because it's been the time, it's been the time, it's been the time, it's been the time, been the time, the time. That's been the time, that's been the time, that's been the time, that's been the time, been the time, the time. That will have been the time, 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 been the time, the time, and stopped being 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 the time, being the time, the time of his life, his life, life. I think it's time to do um, a bit of logic now. Le temps de l'éclair. Dire qu'il est faux de dire que l'éclair est rose n'est pas autre chose que dire que ce n'est pas le cas que l'éclair est rose. C'est-à-dire dire que l'éclair n'est pas rose. Et ceci n'est pas quelque chose que l'on dirait de la proposition « l'éclair est rose », mais une phrase un peu plus compliquée à propos de l'éclair. De la même manière, dire que X croit que l'éclair est rose ne veut pas dire autre chose que 
X croit que l'éclair est rose ou que l'éclair est rose pense X, qui n'est pas non plus, ne ressemble même pas à la proposition l'éclair est rose, mais est et ressemble à une phrase un peu plus compliquée à propos de l'éclair et de X. Et pourtant, c'était l'été, c'était le soir, et l'éclair fut bleu. The time of lightning. To say that it's false, to say that lightning is pink, says nothing other than that is not the case that lightning is pink. That is to say, to say that lightning is not pink. And this is not something one would say of the preposition lightning is pink, but a sentence a bit more complicated about lightning. In the same way, to say that X believes lightning is pink does not mean anything other than X believes that lightning is pink. Or that lightning is pink thinks X which is likewise not and doesn't even resemble the proposition lightning is pink, but is and resembles a sentence about lightning and about X. And yet, summer it was, an evening, and the lightning was blue. Um, I've done a few, uh, a few readings and encounters with, uh, uh, with uh, schoolgirls and schoolboys uh, in France, uh, in different places. And uh, there's a, the problem, especially with. Uh, uh, when they reach the age of uh, 14 or 15, uh, because it's very difficult to have them admit that things that do not, that are not poems about love uh, in the, the mood of, uh, I don't know if it exists in English, uh, rap, you know rap? Uh, and that, that's a problem. Some, well, 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 never mind, never mind. Uh, du rap démusicalisé, I don't know, it's, it's a way of, uh, of, of talking, uh, it's a way of talking very quickly. Uh, rap. Rap. Huh? rap, of course, for them poetry is about love and it's rap without, without any music. Uh, that's it. So. so, after a moment I'm I usually introduce a poem that I'm going to recite to see what, what they think about that. Um, well, it's a poem with a title, with two stanzas, each stanza having only one line. Are you ready? The Clouds. The clouds, change, that's all. So there's um, usually a moment of silence. And then someone very full of courage, usually a girl, says, it's not poetry. OK. <laughs> well, let's discuss that. So. I think I'm going to introduce that poem differently. In fact, that poem, that poem uh, I, I've recited uh, is translation. It's the translation, a translation of a, of a poem, song, and medicine from the Chippewa Indians. <laughs> 